This is Tom from Tractor Tools Direct, and you're now watching In the Field. Hey guys, it's Tom with Tractor Tools Direct. Uh, I'd just like to share a few things with you guys about the difference between a typical larger round bale and our mini round bales. Um, a big difference, obviously, is gonna be size and weight. Um, this guy is gonna be your typical bale. Let's say you have five acres of land and you have somebody down the road come and do your hay. You might see a bale like this sitting out in your field. Now, if you have a 25 horsepower tractor, there is no way that you're gonna be able to pick this bale up. Um, whereas with these mini round bales, it's very easy. 30 pound bale all the way up to about 55 pounds. You'll be able to pick those up, kick them around, roll them around, take them on a trailer, uh, go feed your animals. If you have horses, cows, sheep, goats, alpacas, uh, we even have some customers that do it for rabbits and making pellet. Um, so there's a whole bunch of wide variety of ranges why you would want a smaller bale over a larger bale. Now there are plenty of reasons and purposes why you'd want a larger bale over a mini round bale too. So for most of our customers, we have a wide variety of implements that we can make custom packages for you anywhere between you know the 55 60 horsepower range all the way down to 20 or 15 horsepower range so the biggest difference i just wanted to show you while we have the two bales here we're out here in the field uh, in midwest indiana we're bailing about one and a half to two acre plot right now so we might get uh, with 30 pound bales maybe 60 70 bales um, today so just wanted to show you the difference between the two and why you would want one over the other depending on your you know field acreage and your herd size uh, type of animals uh, what kind of material you're baling whether it be in you know down south and getting pine straw to baling up your leaves in the summertime there's a wide variety of why you could use our mini round baler you can fit into a spot where the tractor and this baler ha would have a very hard time fitting in where our implements can fit on a much smaller tractor, use way less fuel consumption during that process, and fit into paddocks and small docks of, uh, of, of a whole wide variety of different kinds of field layouts where the bigger equipment just would have a hard time getting that material. So other than that, check out our website. Uh, let us know what you, wanna, what you wanna see. If you have any questions about our implements or anything that we have to offer, we very much thank you guys for watching the videos. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, and let us know what you guys wanna see on the next one. Thanks again, have a good day. But today I'd like to talk about the purpose of baling mini round balers um, and why you would use those. So let's say you are, you're at, you know, on your property, you usually have some, somebody come down and bale and do your hay for you. Now you might have a deal with them where they're going to take half the hay or you don't have to pay, uh, but they take most of your hay um, or maybe even all of it. Uh, maybe sometimes you just brush hog your field. You can actually turn your five acre plot, 10 acre plot into a profitable area of your farm. So one reason that you do that is primarily to feed your animals. Now we have customers that have goats, sheep, alpaca, horses are our big customers, cows are big customers. Um, and it's easy because rather than putting a huge bale out in the field that their tractor can't lift sometimes, um, you have smaller bales such as this bale here that I happen to be sitting on, which is about a 30 pound bale that you can actually lift up yourself and it's really easy. Now you can have density settings from 30 pounds to 55 pounds depending on what your animals like and how much they might go through and the size of your herd. Now you could also go out 
feed one male a day and have very minimal waste because usually if you're feeding a larger mini round or a larger round bale compared to a mini round bale, your animals might actually waste a lot of that. They're going to be kind of picky and uh, you know pick out the best parts of that hay and then trample on the rest, and you're ended up wasting a lot of that material. So rather than wasting some of that material, you can use smaller round bales and feed those to your animals. Now a lot of people ask about horses about flake feeding because a lot of people flake feed with square bales. Not a problem with mini round bales. I kind of say that a square bale is more like the compaction with a square baler creates these flakes or kind of what I would call like a bundle of napkins. Uh, you can pick out a couple of napkins and feed. This is a mini round bale, it would be like a paper towel roll where you can still pull out and then pull off the flake. And once you know how much flakes or how much your animals eat per day, then you can still get just as accustomed to a mini round bale, be able to pick it up yourself. Um, in my opinion, it's, they're a little bit easier to pick up than square bales. Again, I'll pick it up here. Um, if this is a net wrap model, we also have a twine wrap model. The net wrap model, so these mini round bales uh, create what's called a soft core bale because they have fixed steel chamber rollers that have steel sleeves on them. And that means that the inside layer is going to be a little bit softer than the outside layers. As hay comes into the baler, it's just going to fluff around. And as more hay gets in there, it's going to start compacting from the outside in, actually. So what that's, why that's important is you can kind of just shove your finger in through one of those layers, or paper towel roll layers, as I would like to kind of describe it, and you can just pick up right from the side. And it's nice and easy, it's very little struggle, especially even if you get up to the 55 pound range, if you have a larger herd, it's easy. Another really cool thing about uh, mini round bales, especially if you're going downhill after your cut, you can simply just roll it back onto the like, trailer, roll it down the hill, um, roll it out. Um, to unravel a mini round bale, so you could also kind of show a little bit of that. Basically, just take your, your net wrap and just pull it. Um, I get a little bit of the net wrap all around the bale. You can just pull it and it'll unravel itself. You get about two or three wraps per bale. You just unravel it and it's really not that bad. So it's not too, not too difficult. Uh, twine, same way. You can actually use sisal twine or jute twine. Um, here soon we're going to start selling our, our hemp twine. Um, other than that, uh, Poly 9130 twine works great and hopefully this helps you guys on uh, the reasons why you would use uh, not only a mini round bale of, of hay um, or any material for that matter, straw, pine straw, but uh, you know how it would help you if you're in your farm and you have a certain size implement or certain size equipment like a tractor for example. Uh, within a certain acreage range. We have a wide variety of implements for a wide variety of horsepower of tractors, and hopefully we can help just about everybody out there um, before you have to go out spending tens, if not thousands, a hundred thousand dollars worth of pay equipment and more. So here's to all of you guys that uh, support us, and uh, hopefully we're here to support you back. Uh, thanks again for watching, and hopefully you're enjoying the video and enjoying many more to come.
Hey guys, it's Tom with Tractor Tools Direct back here in the field on day four. So we're out here just basically cleaning up the bales, uh, putting them all over to the side of the field and a few passes just to make sure we have everything cleaned up here um, for this guy that owns this field. So other than that, I just wanted to kind of touch base with you guys today, let you know what we're doing and why we're doing it yet again. So we're just wanting to clean it up. That way the field is nice and prepped and ready to go for cutting number two later this season. And that way, if you leave too much chaff on the ground or even bits of hay uh, for what it's worth, then it's gonna potentially kill the grass underneath it. So we don't want that to happen. We want it to be nice and clean. We wanna prep the area it's really good for the second cutting coming up here soon. Um, and other than that, uh, you'll see maybe a few pictures and videos of the field here when we're done cleaning it. And um, so thanks again for tuning in to In the Field. Uh, like, share, subscribe, comment. Let us know what you guys wanna see here in the future. We're more than happy to make as many videos for you guys that'll help and uh, stay tuned for the next one. Hey guys, it's Tom from Tractor Tools Direct. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, check out our Facebook forum, and comment on any topics you'd like for us to cover in the future.